tomorrow with the daylight tomorrow with the daylight tomorrow with the day light tomorrow with the daylight tomorrow with the daylight tomorrow with the day blaze your trail don't let your fire fizzle out recently i was asked this question christy where are you and it's one of my favorite questions because it grounds me in the moment as a visionary, I'm constantly in the future envisioning what is possible. And if you think about leadership, what makes it challenging oftentimes is that we're in a constant state of duality. We're grappling with our own human emotions and behind the scenes, we're processing what's working, what's not working, what makes us feel uncomfortable as we're being stretched into new levels of excellence, new levels of proficiency. There is a lot of studying, a lot of challenging old belief systems and patterns. And then the camera goes on and then we step on stage and have to lead a people into what is next for them. And that requires steadfastness. That requires a fortified spirit when you have javelins coming at you left and right. And that's why I am adamant about wellness, self-care. Elizabeth Browning said, like tomorrow with today. That has been one of the ways I've been able to sustain my fire in the midst of a pandemic when I think about the early years of entrepreneurship going through years of poverty years in chronic stress years in a state of trauma that I had no idea that I was there but I was determined to outlast my pain. See, when you serve purpose, when you serve purpose with a resolute mind, your pain takes the back seat. And I was talking with a female leader on my upcoming radio show, and she told me that she went to a seven day quiet retreat. And the first couple of days, it was very uncomfortable. She was sitting on a hardwood floor. And she said, she started noticing sharp pains in her back. And the monk told her, don't move around because it's going to become more uncomfortable. The pain is going to exacerbate. She said she couldn't do it. She needed to move around. They were on 16 hours of not eating. And when they did eat, it was broth and vegetables. But after a couple of days passed, her mind became so clear. She said, I'm going to try just sitting still with the pain. And as she sat still and she focused in, something happened. The pain was no longer apparent because she rose above it in her mind through the power of stillness. And God tells us, be still and know that I am God. He is more powerful than your pain. Your mind is more powerful than your pain. And that is how I have been able to ascend from within and win through the most painful times of my life. Where am I? I'm grounded like the roots of a tree. Steady. The winds are blowing. The dogs are barking. But I've determined within myself, I will not 
be moved through it all like tomorrow with today. Mm-hmm. <laughs>